How's it going guys? Welcome to Minimize Media. I'm your host James and um, I've got some news for you guys. A um, little bit of background first. Essentially, uh, my missus and I, uh, first of all, look at my bald head actually. Check that out. Mm, it's not quite smooth because it's all prickly. I got it done yesterday, so uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. I've, I've teamed it with the jacket and the Black Sabbath, trying to look metal, you know. Um, anyway, all, jo all jokes aside, um, essentially, um, me and my missus Hannah, who has been on the channel before, she's played uh, she played Lego Star Wars with me, and she played Streets of Rage Four with me. Um, all these videos. If I talk about any video in this. Uh, if I talk about any of my other content in this video, it'll be in the description below. So if you want to check it out, then please do. That'd be awesome. Essentially, uh, this is a rented flat. And uh, we pay a letting agency and there's a landlord and blah, blah, blah. You know how all that goes. Uh, we got a uh, phone call um, last week, which this video is going out way in the future. Probably when my... Mario and Grim Fandango um, series finishes. Um, so this is way in the future. So this is really weird recording this. This is going to be months down the line. But anyway, we got a message saying that uh, the landlord is selling the property. And we are to move out. And we've been given quite a gracious um, period to do that. And I thought, okay, that's not a problem. I've lived in rented properties all my life. It's, you know, I've moved around. This would probably be like the 12th, the 11th or 12th house I've lived in in my life. Um, but we, we had to sit down and have a talk about like our future and blah, blah, blah. You know, like you do with your, with your, with your significant other. You have that sort of talk about what are we going to do for the future and stuff like that. And long story short is that we're going to save up and uh, get our own place. Our, uh, we're going to get a mortgage and get our own place. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details and stuff, but essentially what we're doing is we're downsizing our life as much as physically possible. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've not got all the figures and stuff that you see in the background normally. Um, a lot of the cabinets and stuff that we have, they've been thrown away or sold. And all the figures and stuff are going into storage because I'm not selling those. I've got that cloud figure from Final Fantasy VII's remake. I ain't selling that. But um, yeah, um, yeah. So everything's gone into storage, or it's been sold, or it's been broken and chucked away. And we're gonna down oh, we're gonna downsize our life as much as physically possible. Uh, we've viewed a property and we're already getting ready to move out. And this place is I am not kidding. Tiny. So that means some so, some sacrifices have to be made, and um, unfortunately, one of the sacrifices I'm going to have to make is I'm probably not going to be able to do this anymore. This, which is a bummer, because I love doing this. This is great. Uh, to have all the gear set up and stuff and all the, the way I've built it up to try and <clears throat> excuse me to try and look as professional as possible to have all the nice lights and the nice desk and stuff and uh, the nice microphone set up to have all this set up I need sort of even if it's just a little bit of a space to do it and where we're moving to there's not enough space to do that kind of thing uh, and I we, we viewed it again and I tried to figure out like where could it go what can I you know what could I move around how could this fit and I sort of had to come to the conclusion that it wasn't gonna happen so yeah this is uh, probably gonna be my last video for the channel for how long I don't know for good maybe I don't know so I just wanted to fill you guys in rather than just leave it off and yeah I am gutted I'm really gutted because I love doing this. This is so much fun to me. Like, you know, to like, I don't, you know, total honesty here. I don't get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of interaction. But I love doing this. I love recording. 
I love the games that I play. I love the interaction with the camera. I love feeling like um, it's really weird. It feels like I'm playing a game with someone sat next to me who I can sort of bounce off, even though no one talks to me. It it, it sounds weird, I know, but it does kind of feel like it gives you a purpose to play a game. Do you know what I mean? When I'm playing a game, I feel like I've got other things going on, and it's just really fun having the captured software, putting it all together into a video, syncing everything up, uh, having a really cool intro and a, a really nice outro, and slicing everything together and stuff. It's just been a blast. I've like, I love doing this a lot. And to say that I'm gutted that I'm not going to be doing it anymore is an understatement. <sighs> yeah, an understatement. This channel has been my saving grace. I started this channel in when was my first... Should we have a look what my first video was? Let's have a look. Okay. I started this channel uh, with Super Mario 64. And I uploaded my first video on the 7th of November 2018. And one thing I can state with 100% confidence is that I have uploaded three videos, sometimes four, a week, every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and then sometimes Monday. But every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, I have uploaded a video every single week without fail. Without fail since the 7th of November, 2018. That's insane. I'm so proud of that. And I know it doesn't seem like such a big thing, but for me to have that kind of consistency, it does feel like a big thing to me. And I'm going to miss having that schedule to meet, you know, to get the videos out by this time and have the, the thumbnails ready and have the descriptions done and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this channel has been a saving grace for me over this. Uh, over the pandemic because when it first started my brain shut off and I was in I didn't know what to do um, as if you've watched any of my previous sort of vlogs and stuff like that you know I'm a sufferer of depression and I have uh, a lot of anxiety issues and stuff and the pandemic hitting just really really brought that home for me it was a rough time to be alive for everyone and people were, um, I was still working and you know, I, the anxiety got so bad that I couldn't even sometimes get out of bed to go to work, get out of bed at all some days. Um, this channel, these videos, these games, this website, YouTube gave me the, gave me the reason to get up. I need to make another video. I've not finished that series yet. I need to make another video. I didn't finish that level properly. You know, I want to make sure that I meet my deadline. I got up. I got dressed. I sorted my hair out when I had hair. I sat in front of my screen here. I sat in front of you guys here. And I made a video. And I forced myself to do it because I knew it was good for me. And when I... During the video, my... The worries and stress and pain and anxiety went away completely. Man, like you have no idea. It just disappears. You're too busy thinking like recording footage, um, recording for the camera, recording the, um, I've got my Elgato plugged in, recording the gameplay, uh, recording the audio, which I've got going to Logic on a separate computer. Um, is everything on? Is everything working? Is everything syncing up? And my brain, and then... As, as I would be playing, I'd have to play the game, which would be in itself a form of concentration. And then I'd have to think about, right, I don't want to leave gaps. I want to talk. I want to interact. I want to speak to you guys. I want to say funny things. And I want to commentate on the game I'm playing. With all that thrown in, you don't have time to think about the pandemic and, and terrorism and and anxiety and 
all that horribleness going in the world for those for that brief moment it's you the game the camera and it's an escape it's a beautiful beautiful escape i'm gonna miss doing that a lot i'm so so grateful that i've been able to do this um, and again, I haven't got a lot of views. You can see through the, all the videos now, I haven't got a lot of views, but it's, it's, I'm proud to have the body of work that I've got. I've got so many series. I'm just looking through now. I've got so many series. And I'm proud to have that body of work and to have them all with their own thumbnails and part ones and twos and titles and things like that. I'm proud of that. That's an accomplishment for me. When I started this, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I still don't really. But it was a case of, I'm just going to try it because I want to, because I had, I, I've sort of grown through, grown up through YouTube, admiring people like Markiplier and um, Jacksepticeye and Daz Black and um, YouTubers like that. Uh, those three in particular are a big influence on me because they they feel like real people and they, they're they really talking to you. Okay, they have a certain amount of boisterousness when they do things or they have catchphrases and things like that. But, you know, they're entertainers at the end of the day. That's what we're doing on here, you know. But at the end of the day, those three guys in particular, as well as loads of others, but those three guys for me in particular felt like real human beings really playing games to, to connect to people and I still watch all three of those YouTubers to this day like I'm such a big fan of Mark uh, Jack slash Sean and Daz Black I love those guys to bits like they're, in, they're, in, they're on my TV every single pretty much every single day near enough um, and I wanted to I aspired to that I thought I want to be a, a real guy playing games and stuff and I think I did all right, you know. I'm, I'm proud of myself that I didn't um, play the latest games to try and get the views, or I didn't like I didn't play games like Fortnite and Overwatch and things like that. I ain't got a problem with those games per se. They're not for me. I'm not really a multiplayer kind of guy, and I think they're a little bit uh, hamster wheel games. You get on, you do the same thing, you get off, you spend a load of money on micropayments. But I didn't do that. That's not what I wanted to do. I was a lover of the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1 and the uh, and the Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, depending on where you're from. And I thought, I'm going to do that. I want to play those kind of games. And I stuck to it. Stuck to it. 100%. And I'm really proud of that. Really, really proud. Uh, I did play a couple of new games on there. Uh, notably... I played the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which, uh, again, if you've not seen it, I, I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check it out. I also bought it with uh, the big cloud figure that comes with it. I got the uh, first class edition, I think it's called, the special edition. It's got the steelbook and blah, 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 and all that stuff. You can check all those videos out in the link below, uh, in the description below, should I say. Um, but so anyone who knows me or anyone who's seen a video, they will know that Final Fantasy VII is my all-time number one top favorite game. Uh, followed very closely by Persona 5, to be honest. I love that game to bits, but I was going to play that in my own time. And then I decided, no, I want to share that experience with you guys. Which I suppose brings me on to the next portion of what I want this video to be, like... A retrospective of what I've done, what I've accomplished, what I'm proud of, what I think I maybe could have done better and things like that. And what a better place to start than with the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I started playing it in my own time. And I thought to myself, do you know what? What's the point in the channel? The point for me is to be able to archive what I'm playing so I can look back at it and enjoy it. As well as share it with hopefully whoever wants to watch. And I just... Pulled everything up, plugged everything in, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to play this for the channel. And I am so glad that I did. Like, everything you see in that playthrough is 100% through new eyes. 
you're seeing my first reactions to the whole thing and I loved playing it for you guys for the for this channel I loved it it was so so great so great and I got to share that first time experience with whoever else was watching and if you did watch that series and you left a comment on any of the videos or you felt some buzz with it with me then um, thank you that's that's you know that means a lot to me uh, on the subject of Final Fantasy 7 one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't get to finish the original. I went up to the end of the first disc. I then decided to take a break for it, for, uh, from it because it's a long ass game, long game. I thought I'll take it to the first disc where someone dies and uh, <laughs> she had single tear where um, yeah, I got to the end of the first disc I thought, I'll leave it there for a bit because it's quite a long series, and then I'll do, like, Series 2 of Final Fantasy VII, you know? And I never got round to it, and I'm gutted that I'm not going to get to finish it for the channel. Really, really gutted. I really wanted to do it. Um, again, you can check all that out below. I'm going to leave a link to every, pretty much the first video and every single playlist below, including a couple of vlogs and stuff if you want to check those out. Let's go way back to the beginning. The very first three playthroughs I played were Super Mario 64, Red Faction, and Medieval. I can safely say, without a doubt, that Medieval is one of my favourite games I played on the channel, still. And it was the, th the second? Yeah, it was the second playthrough I played on the channel. Um, I played those three games at the same time. And... I have fond memories of playing through Medieval and getting through it and 100% completing it because, you know, whatever. And uh, that was really, really great. My favourite game that I've played on the channel, even though Final Fantasy VII is my favourite game and I've played that game all the way through more times than I could probably count, my favourite playthrough on this channel, without doubt, is my playthrough of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And it was, I think it was the first playthrough I played after I finished one of my first series, if any of those words make sense, put them in a neat row so they make sense to you. Um, it was the fourth game I think I played on the channel. But I tell you, the energy that I got playing that game specifically i've played again i've played that game a million times as well but i looked forward to it so much every time without fail and i know that game back to front every mission how to do certain things every bit of dialogue i know the whole thing back to front yet when i played it for the channel if something weird happened it felt fresh it really felt fresh and i don't understand what happened like and when it started to get to the end of the series, I was like, no, I don't want this series to end. This is awesome. Yeah. So my, that's my favorite that I've done on the channel, uh, Grand Theft Auto. That's when I had a weird quiff thing going on on my hair. It was really odd before I cut it. And in fact, I got it cut during that playthrough. So it'd be uh, like a side mohawk thing, whatever, whatever you call that hair. Um, one of my proudest accomplishments on this channel, again, really early on in the channel's life, is completing the original Rayman. Okay, let's put an asterisk on here. Let's get some disclaimers going. I put in a cheat quite early on, which gives you 99 lives. All right, I'm throwing that out there. But I'm also gonna throw this out there. The live system is an outdated model for video games. You don't need a live system. And you're just like, oh, you just need to get good, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Most games don't have a live system anymore. All a live system was for was arcade cabinets to steal your mom and dad's money while you sucked at the game. That's what live systems were for. So I thought, you know, I'll put in this cheat, which is, is it's not really a cheat, but I suppose it is. And I thought, it's not going to make the game easier. It's just going to give me more chances to try and get good at it. Which I never truly did get good at it, let's be honest. But man, 
I completed that game. And I'm really proud of that because it is bloody hard. It's a hard game to play that. It is... Oh, some of those episodes. There is uh, an episode in one of the music levels. And there's these really, really thin, really thin uh, platforms. And they were slidey. And I kept falling at the same point over and over and over again. And it was driving me nuts. Oh my God, the frustration was real. And I finally actually did it. I didn't use an exploitation or anything like that. I just got good at that bit and then got over it. Yeah, I died a whole bunch of times. Oh, hell yeah, I died a whole bunch of times. But I still did it. I still felt accomplished doing it. And I got through that whole game. And I opened every cage, and I got to the last boss, and I completed it. In fact, I completed it twice, because if you go and watch the last episode to that um, series, which is one of my most watched videos on the channel, which is really weird. People just want to see the end of Rayman, I suppose. Um, yeah, I was playing it, and I can't remember what exactly went wrong, but something went wrong. And I had to complete it again, because the recording messed up. So I completed it twice, or the... the I did the end boss twice, the end level twice. So yeah, that's my biggest accomplishment. And some of my favorite playthroughs, I've got them all on my, my MacBook here. Uh, what else have I done on the channel? I've played Max Payne. Max Payne was really fun. I like the story in that. Um, bit rough around the edges when it comes to the editing and some of the sound and stuff, but it's still a really good playthrough. I really enjoy playing that. Streets of Rage. I played the first one. That's another regret I'm going to have. I didn't play Streets of Rage 2, which is my favorite one. And yeah, I'm a bit gutted at that because I love that game and I was looking forward to playing it for you guys. But it is what it is. Um, what else did I play? As I've mentioned before in the video, me and my Mrs. Hannah, we both played Lego Star Wars. The um, It was the prequel trilogy, because that's the first one that came out. Oh, excuse me, just eating some food and pizza. But um, yeah, that was really fun. Super fun like to play two-player, cooperative. That's the only kind of two-player I like when it's couch co-op. Um, that was really, really fun. Shout out to my Mrs. by the way, uh, as we're in this video. She is the one who made every single thumbnail on this channel. Every single one. She also made the artwork for the channel. She made the banner. She's made the uh, all the artwork that you see in the intro and the outro she's made. It was all her, all her Photoshop skills, that. And I cannot thank her enough for doing that for me. Because my Photoshop skills are definitely not good. Maybe I could use this time to get better at it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to my missus for doing all the artwork for my channel. All the intros and the outros and the thumbnails. and Because, you know, you made my channel look nice. And I'm really grateful for that. Uh, she has a YouTube channel called Nana Doss. I will leave it in the description below. If you want to check it out, she does a lot of skating on there. She's got a lot of uh, talks about um, her Tourette's and things like that, her tics. So if you want to go and check that out, please do. It's in the description below. Uh, her videos are fantastic. They're really, really good. Really well edited. Yeah, I played Streets of Rage 4 when that came out. In fact, I did two playthroughs of that. I did one uh, with my missus and then I did one solo on the normal difficulty to try and beat it. I think it was on the normal difficulty. I can't remember now. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was another great accomplishment. I recently, not long ago, completed, um, well, not long ago as of today, completed Resident Evil 4, which was a big one. I really, really, really enjoyed that. It was one, that was one of my favorite playthroughs. Um, I played Silent Hill, the first Silent Hill, which brings me to another regret. I didn't get to play Silent Hill 2 on the channel, which is in my top five favorite games of all time. I'm pretty gutted that I didn't get to do that. But I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna keep carrying on here. I'll bring up some choice ones. 
I've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the channel, which is really, really fun. Um, all of these, by the way, are from the original hardware. Like, if I'm playing a PlayStation 2 game, it's from a PlayStation 2. It's not emulated, it's captured from the PlayStation 2 right to, right to, my, right to my laptop. Same with the PlayStation 1 games. It is played on the PlayStation 2 and captured straight from there. Same with my Nintendo 64 playthroughs, which I've got Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, all of it's original hardware. Apart from maybe like the Super Mario playthrough, which recently ended, that was on the Super Nintendo Mini. But yeah, I'm not gonna... Is there any other sort of games? Choice games? Metal Gear Solid, that was a big one. I did some cool editing in the middle of that. If you watched the episode where I uh, fight Psycho Mantis, I was quite proud of that because it is very silly. Um, I played Crash Bandicoot 2. I played the original. And then I played the remake and compared the two. I'm quite proud of that. That was really cool. Uh, recently, I played VR, which I've got the VR helmet right next to me. Shout out to my brother Steven for letting me borrow his VR headset so that I could play that. Um, that was a blast. If you want to check that out, that's one of the most recent. Vi uh, that's yeah, it's one of the, yeah one of the most recent uh, play playlists playthroughs. Check it out. It's in the description below. And you know, I think that's it. If you want to check out anything else, I've played loads and loads on the channel. Please go and check them out. I'll be super grateful. I'm sure there's some stuff I'm forgetting to talk about. That I had a whole bunch of stuff in my head that I was like, I need to say this in the video. I need to say that because it's the last time I'm going to do this. But it's all gone out of my head. So the one thing I do want to say to everyone who's commented on any of my videos, which is over nearly over 500 videos now, to anyone who's left a like, left a comment at all no matter what it was um thank you so much for leaving a nice comment or leaving me some advice or just saying that you enjoyed the video or that you're looking forward to the rest of the series or anything along those lines thank you for that you know i didn't reply to some messages because my anxiety takes over and i just I just lock up into a shell, close everyone off. Like I, I sort of step in my own little cage and then nothing happens. So I haven't replied to some of them and I'm really, really sorry for that. I'm, I'm really bad for that. But this is me now saying thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video, to leave a like, to leave a comment, just to... Time on this earth is precious. And you took the time to watch something I made. A piece of content that I made. And I'm very grateful that you've done that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I, I mean, pretty much that's it now. Oh, before I do go, I, um, I made a video that I, I got onto a Black Sabbath CD. I'm credited in this box set. And I won't go into it too much, but I did a little bit of sort of uh, advising for for the one of the, the mixing of the Live in the UK album, which is the the fourth disc on this set. If you want to check out my video on that, my reveal, that's in the description below as well. And I think that's it, pretty much. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> so this is it. Uh, this is the last video I'm going to make for the channel. Maybe for only... I mean, w the way we've budgeted is it's probably going to be maybe a year or two. So I don't know if I'll pick this up after a year or two, maybe. I don't really know. I don't know if I'll have to sell some of the gear to help pay deposits and and fees and all that kind of thing but I guess for now this is it I have had so much fun doing this channel I'm really grateful that I've had time 
and I've had equipment and I've had patience and I've had a platform with which to do this. I'm really, really grateful. I'm really sad that I can't do it anymore. I might do something in the future with it, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time or the space or the patience with what I've got going on in my life right now. But I guess I'm going to leave this video here. And uh, I might upload some videos, maybe like best ofs or something like that. If I get the time, that would be really, really great. I would really enjoy that. Hopefully, this video goes out on my third year anniversary of the channel starting of my first video upload, the Super Mario one. Because three years of uploading, that would be pretty cool. But I guess I'm going to leave it here. It's going to be weird not doing this anymore. But you got to do what you got to do, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if, you, if you're going to check out any of the content, I'll still reply and I'll still, I'll still be here. I'll still be present. I'm not going to get rid of the channel or anything like that. So please do. Please interact. I'll probably still be on social media if you want to check all my, my social media. It's down below if you want to check that out. It's normally at the bottom of the description. But for now, this is it from me and Minimize Media. Um, I guess I'll sign off for the last time. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this content of myself, James, right here on Minimize Media, playing old school retro games from the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, and loads of other stuff. If you enjoyed all that, then please support the channel by hitting the subscribe button. Then maybe still click the notification bell because you never know. Um, spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your friends that I did this. If if they enjoy the video, let them. If they would enjoy this kind of thing, let them know. But most importantly, remember to always take it easy. <laughs>